Yes, good morning. So today we are going to start with a new chapter, The Summer of Beautiful White Horse from your book, Snapshots. So here chapter children, this chapter is uh, about two boys. It's about two Armenian boys. One is Aram and the other is Murad. So here is a story about two Armenian boys, Aram and Murad, who belong to a very famous Gerogaladian family. So they belong to a Gerogaladian family, the family who is known for, and this family is known for honesty, and truth, right? So this family's name is very important, Gergorolian family, the one which, which is famous in the whole, you can say society for its being honest and truth, truthful. So now the point is, these two boys, Aram and Murad, they are, they are small children, young children. So these two boys, especially Murad, he is known for a crazy streak in himself. He is known for a crazy streak in himself. What is crazy streak? You can say that he has a little odd concepts, odd ideas about life. And he has, you know, inherited this crazy streak from his uncle, Khosrov. So he has inherited this trait from, so he has inherited crazy streak from his uncle first off, right? Well, so I was talking about the boys, Murad and Aram. These two children, you know, one day Murad comes with a horse and comes near the house of Aram and asks him to come and enjoy horse riding. Aram could not believe his eyes that Murad had come on a white horse. It was a beautiful white horse. And he couldn't believe his eyes that how could Murad have a horse? There were two reasons for his being uh, in that kind of state. He was not able to believe his eyes. The reasons were, number one, this, these children belonged to a family which was poor. Okay, very important point. So Aram could not believe that Murad had come on a white, beautiful horse. He could not believe that how could Murad have a horse? Why was he not able to believe in his uh, own self? Because the family was, number one, the family was known for truthfulness and honesty. And the second reason was that this family was poor also. There were two things, there were two facts about this Gargarulian family. One was they were very honest and truthful. Second is they were poor very poor. They were known for this. If they were poor, they could not have a horse. And secondly, they are honest. That also means that they cannot have a horse because they cannot steal horse. They were poor as well as honest and how could they have a horse? So Aram could not believe his eyes that Murad had come on a horse and how could this horse be his? That was not possible, but he might not have stolen the horse. That was also a fact. But Murad told him, like, if you want to enjoy the horse riding, then come over. 
so aram who was doubtful like from where aram, murad might have taken the horse so he was doubtful but he did not ask anything directly he went with him and uh, he was able to make out while riding the horse that murad had taken the horse from another farmer for a month he had been he had been enjoying with a horse for the last one month so aram pointed out like why have you stolen then murad makes it very clear that he has not stolen the horse because stealing is when you want to earn money out of your out of that product so he says that my purpose is not to sell the horse and earn money i just want to enjoy riding and later on i'll return the horse so it's not stealing so aram is also convinced that yes they have not stolen the horse because stealing is when it is associated with money when you go and sell it then it becomes st uh, stealing right so here these boys you know enjoy the horse riding for a for almost for a for a few days more but one thing we have to understand over here is wrong is what is wrong what is stealing when it is associated with something wrong but when your mind is clear when your intentions are not wrong then you may not consider something as being as a, as if it were stealing or not so it is the it is the perspective of the children that is also very important point in the story that the narrator has taken the children as the narrators the child is a narrator okay because only a child can say something like this a grown up man cannot say something like this then we as readers would not digest that but anyways so they enjoy the horse riding for some time one day the owner of the horse comes to the house uncle khosro he talks to uncle khosro about his stolen horse i already told you like uncle khosro was very crazy man he was a crazy he was mad he had a streak of craziness in him and murad had inherited that streak from him only so whenever so basically uncle khosro was a very irritable he would get annoyed very easily whenever somebody would tell him something he would always say the same thing what's what is the harm in it there is no harm in it he would always have the same words so when that farmer went to complain to uncle khosro about the horse which was stolen then he just shouted at him like so what what so what if your horse is stolen there is no harm in it so then there is a story there is an anecdote to tell like how crazy uncle khosro was once his house was on fire whose house uncle khosro's so one once uncle khosro's house was on fire at that time he was at a barber's shop his son came running to inform him about this and when his son informed him like uh, this has happened there then what this uncle khosro said he just shouted at him like so what there is no harm in it the time when he would have really become worried about his house at all he just shouted at the, at his own son pointing out that there was no harm in this so that clearly shows that he was a little crazy man okay whenever somebody would say something to him he would say the same thing well so what i was telling you like uh, one day that farmer the one whose horse these boys were enjoying that horse's owner came to uncle khosro he told him about the loss of his horse and uncle khosro you know in his uh, uh, staple way in his, in his signature way scolded him and sent him back uncle khosro's wife you know she 
tried to console the farmer by telling that uh, uh, Mr. Postrov is actually not a very bad person. But that way, the farmer went off. The climax of the story comes when the owner of the horse meets the boys when they were enjoying the horse ride. Owner of the horse comes face to face with the boys with the horse with them. What do you think will happen here? What do you think will happen here? Will anyone, can anyone make a guess? Those who are online or offline? When Uncle Kosrov, when the owner of the horse came face to face with the boys, when, they, when the horse was with them, then what do you think will happen? Raise hand. Come on. So what do you think will happen when the owner of the horse will see his own horse with somebody else? What do you think will happen then? Yes? Yes, of course. You're very right, Samridhi. Riddhi. So, of course, when, if you, supposing your one thing is lost, your pet is lost. Suppose your own pet dog is lost. And you see your pet dog with some, with your friends. Your friend is roaming about with your pet in hand. And that person has never informed you. What will you do? You will claim that it was your dog. Will you claim or not? You might even argue with that friend, like, how could you go with my pet without informing me? You know, something like that is sure. But here, the situation was very different. So here, when, the, when that owner of the horse saw the boy with the horse, he said, first of all, he like to observe the horse very minutely. He counted the teeth of the horse. He checked his each and every part of the body. And finally, he told the boys, like, my God, had you not been with the horse, then I would have sworn by God that it was my horse. Tooth by tooth. Means that this horse is exactly like mine. But because you are there with the horse, I cannot say that it's mine horse. Because you belong to Gargronian family, the family who cannot be the liars, the family who cannot be the thieves. You people cannot tell lies. So had it not been you, then I would have been very sure that it was my horse. But I think it's a twin of the horse. Got it? So that is the importance of name and fame. So then the boys, what do you think the boys might have felt? What do you think might be the feelings of the boys? Would the boys have become scared? Yes or no? No. The boys were not even scared now. Because they had not stolen. You are afraid when you have done something wrong? The boys had never done anything wrong. They had not stolen. They had only taken the horse for some days. And now when they saw that the, uh, that, um, uh, that the owner of the horse had seen them with the horse and there might be some problem cropping out of this incident, the boys decided to return it to the farmer. So the horse was returned. And next day, the same owner of the horse came to Uncle Kosrov again and told him that he had got his horse back. He was very happy. And he also added that his horse had become better, uh, better in temperament. Now it has got healthier. And number two, it has, it has been better tempered. Like earlier, the horse was very irritable. The earlier, the horse was not, to, it didn't behave well. But now the horse has become better groomed than, and moreover, it has become healthier. So what does it mean? 
that the boy murad he took care of the horse not from the health point of view but also from grooming point of view so it's very easy to have a pet it's very easy to have a domestic animal like horse or what but how many people bother to groom the pets grooming the pets is more important than just having one pet so the boys you know murad had the horse only for one month he knew that he would be returning it but even then he not only took care of the horse from its health point of view but also from its grooming point of view also and that uh, farmer was very happy so that is the story about and in between we would be talking a lot uh, talking about the boy murad also like what kind of boy murad is one thing i've told you like he also had a crazy streak in him but one thing which i did not tell you is that murad had a way with everybody he had a way with human beings he had a way with all animals he had a way with all birds what do i mean by this that he had a way with all it means that he had the he had a skill to tackle everybody okay tackling everybody maybe the human beings or maybe the animals that is a skill which he had okay some people you know what happens when they talk to somebody then without any reason there is sometimes an argument because their nature is such and sometimes there are people like murad who are able to even turn a quarrel into a friendly talk because they have a way with people they know how to tackle the situation right so he was even able to tack uh, he was even able to temper the horse he was even able to have a way with a bird basically murad is a very kind person so when you don't have to pretend to be kind and nice that thing comes up on your own on its own right so the, here is the summer of the beautiful white horse so basically i have covered up the whole uh, chapter in details and uh, today you people read the whole chapter on your own right and uh, tomorrow we'll be discussing the question answers of this chapter if you will have any doubt from the text that will be asked for we'll discuss your doubts then we'll discuss the questions will you read the chapter on your own children here online will you read the whole chapter okay those who say that yes they would read raise hand raise hand come on those who say they will read the chapter yes okay ashutosh not raising hand dhruv agarwal garv gurjot singh okay yes well done manat aryan so the ones who are not raising hand what should i see what what should i say about them so i expect you all to raise hand because you have to read okay so today you read the chapter and this time uh, your test will be of the laburnum top and the voice of the rain okay this time the test will be of the two poems voice of the rain laburnum top and even photograph three poems will be there in the test will that be clear okay 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 the voice of the rain though we have done that would be the next term so the test will be of a photograph the laburnum top and even um, landscape of the soul yes so the test will be of the landscape of the soul and laburnum top right okay children 